Hey, it's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. In this video, I want to share with you a few at-home arm care exercises that you can do. Now, the best part about these exercises, you can do them with very limited space and very limited equipment. In fact, there's no fancy equipment required for these exercises. You can get a great workout in in five or 10 minutes. These exercises are gonna help you keep your arms safe and healthy and strong. I really think you're gonna enjoy them, so let's jump into it. All right, so this first set of exercises is called YWTLs. You can start out with just your body weight and then progress to maybe some light dumbbells or some soup cans around the house, but you really don't wanna go any more than about five pounds because these exercises are not designed for slinging around a bunch of weight. They're not designed to be done quickly. They're designed to be done slowly and you really wanna focus on controlling the movement, controlling every single rep. But the way it's gonna work, first we're gonna hinge at the hips, we're gonna bend over a little bit, and then we're simply gonna spell out the letters YWTL, okay? So I'm going to hinge at the hip, bend over a little bit, and the first one is Ys. So all I'm gonna do is have my hands starting down here and I'm gonna come up like this, thumbs to the sky, and you see how I'm creating a Y, all right? And I'm not going quickly with this. Again, I'm controlling the movement on the way up and controlling the movement on the way down. So this is wise. Then we can jump into W's. We're gonna tuck our elbows in tight to our body. Hands start down here like this. And then we're gonna make a W shape. And our thumbs are pretty much going to the sky in this exercise as well. So that's W's. Then after that, we're gonna jump into T's. T's are similar to Y's. So Y's, we went thumbs to the sky, created a Y shape out here. T's, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna go out to the side like this. So this is T's. Controlling it up, controlling it down. And then the last one is L's. For L's, I like to do a little bit of a rowing motion and then get into my L shape. For this one, you wanna make sure that you're bent over a little bit. You're not gonna feel it if you're up tall like this. You have to hinge at the hips, bend over, start with your hands down here like this, row, and then make an L and then you've gotta reverse the motion. Row, L, reverse. So this is a great set of exercises to do before we jump into the next exercises I'm about to show you. For the next two exercises, you're going to need access to a wall. I just have a chain link fence right here because I'm at the field, but a wall works much better. So grab a wall at home, and the first one is scap wall slide. So what we're gonna do, my back is to the wall or to the fence like this, and I'm gonna raise my elbows to about shoulder height, and I'm gonna place my elbows on the wall and make sure my hands are also touching the wall. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna work on sliding up and sliding down this wall. The big thing is you wanna try your best to maintain you know, your hands and your elbows on the wall. You don't wanna let them get away from the wall. So keep them on the wall and also focus on keeping your rib cage down. You don't wanna come up and allow the rest of your body to come up with you. You wanna keep your rib cage down, okay? And keep your hands and your elbows on the wall, slide up. You can go out a little bit. You don't have to go straight, straight up like this. You can go out to the side just a little bit. But try your best to maintain contact with the wall. Slow and controlled, we're controlling every single rep. Then we can flip it around and we're gonna do serratus wall slides. You're gonna get up to the wall like this. I like to have my, my feet kind of staggered. And again, my elbows are about shoulder height here and this works so much better on a wall than on a chain link fence. But all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna maintain contact with the wall and I'm gonna slide up and back down like this. Again, you can go out to the sides a little bit. You don't wanna go out like this, but you also don't wanna go straight up. So we can slide up to the side a little bit and slide down. Now we're gonna jump into isometric internal and external rotation. So this is a great exercise to really activate the muscles in your rotator cuff. So we're gonna sit down for this one and all we're gonna do, first let's start out with internal rotation. So internal would be this way. I'm gonna start out with my hand like this and with my right hand, I'm going to attempt to do an internal rotation movement like this while resisting with my opposite hand. So my opposite hand goes here, and I'm gonna push, resist, resist, resist for a few seconds. And you can take a quick break, do it again. All I'm doing is I'm activating those muscles. I'm trying to internally rotate and I'm resisting with my opposite hand. And then we can do external rotations, which is the same thing, just in reverse. So external will be this way. Could start out here, 
my, my opposite hand is gonna go on the opposite side of my throwing hand here, and now I'm trying to make this external motion while resisting. So again, I'm on for a few seconds, take a quick break, again. Now we're gonna do some more internal and external rotation, but this time you're going to need a soup can. We're gonna add a little bit of weight. So this first one, let's do internal rotation. So I'm a right-handed thrower. I'm gonna get down on the ground and I'm laying on my right hip, okay? The way this is gonna work, I'm gonna lay down like this. My elbow is gonna be tucked into my side and my arm's gonna be out here at about a 90 degree angle. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna internally rotate up and down, nice and slow very little resistance and we're controlling the movement the entire time. Again, this is not something that we do quickly. You wanna control each and every single rep. So this is internal rotations with the soup can. Then we can turn it around and do external rotations. So I'm gonna lay on my opposite hip and I'm gonna start with the soup can down here like this and then just slowly externally rotate. These exercises are great because with a little resistance and a little focus, really being intentional with every single rep, you can get a great workout in in five or 10 minutes. And these exercises are really gonna help you keep your arms safe and healthy and strong, which is what it's all about. So this is external rotation with the soup can. And then the last exercise we're gonna do today is band pull apart. So I've got a little red resistance band here. It's pretty light resistance. You can also use something like a J band if you have one of those laying around the house. Um, but again, the resistance and getting as much resistance as possible is not really what we're after here. We're after getting a resistance that challenges us, but really making sure that we go slow and we control every single rep uh, and we really activate all the muscles in our rotator cuff and in our shoulder, not necessarily trying to see how much resistance or how much weight we can sling around. But band pull-aparts, you can do these with an under Underhand grip or an overhand grip. You can do both. I would really recommend the underhander grip because you know it allows you to get into that external rotation position. But all we're going to do is we're going to have our hands out front like this. And we're simply going to pull the band apart and then bring it back. Okay, slow and controlled. We're not whipping it like this. Slow and controlled. We're trying to maintain the resistance the entire time too. We don't want this slack here. We want to try to maintain that resistance. This is the underhand grip. And if you'd like, you can also flip it around and do the overhand grip as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We're coming out with new baseball videos every single week and I don't want you to miss any of them. So subscribe and join the UBT family. If you like this one, please leave it a like. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.